So uh, welcome back to the channel and um, we've got another sort of how, how we do it sort of video coming with you today um, and we're going to be making a snowboard um, for these guys uh, for Pure Brewing and they've sent us a few beers as well so we'll have a nice sort of chilled session after and uh, yeah, should be a good one. So uh, yeah, here's a sort of finished design. Uh, as you'll sort of notice, the colours aren't as sort of vibrant and poppy, um, but that is what comes from uh, throughout the sublimation process. Is you'll see those colours just sort of. <laughs> just the next step with this is we're gonna have to cut some material down to size uh, and lay it up on there, ready for um, the, uh, the sublimation process. We're just waiting for the. The actual press to heat up, which has obviously got some pressure on it, it's about uh, 60 psi, um, and then we've got the temperatures here, and um, that's going to heat uh, heats the press, which helps the ink turn into a, a gas, which is then sort of captured by the plastic, um, and then uh, once it's sort of into the plastic, you can't sort of get rid of it. It's like a tattoo almost, um, uh, and then we'll just get rid of the paper, and then obviously with this being clear, uh, we need something to make it white. Um, so we'll go over it with like um, a silk screen paint, um, which uh, yeah gives us that white effect. So yeah, that's, this has been in um, in the press now uh, for 25 minutes. Uh, so we'll just sort of get it out and see how the colours came out. Uh, we just need to let that cool because um, if you don't let it like, put it under pressure when it's cooling it will sort of cool and weird like ripples um, so we're just letting it cool flat uh, underneath this piece of wood. So a bit like the previous video uh, if you've watched that with the wakeboard um, we start off with just the plain wood core um, and what we're going to be doing here is placing the template on top of it so as you can see here um, we've got tons of templates, different sizes, different shapes, different boards, skis, split boards, uh, obviously the weight boards as well. Um, so yeah, there's plenty to choose from, but for this particular uh, snowboard, we're going for a 160 wide. And what we'll do is we will place this on and measure it as centered as we can. Obviously we want to make the most of the wood grain um, following along the length of the board. Um, so obviously trying to keep it as straight as possible is what we're aiming for. Uh, and we'll just quickly draw around that uh, with a perfect core. Um, and what you'll notice is it doesn't actually look like a snowboard shape. We've got these sort of indents here. Uh, and that's because we need to add the plastic wrap around the outside. And obviously again, that's just to keep the water from getting into the wood uh, and having that freeze for thaw effect, which will eventually destroy the board. The next step of um, getting the snowboard core sort of ready is um, we're going to take this down from its sort of original thickness. Um, every snowboard has a different thickness um, depending on what sort of style you want. Um, and it's where a lot of the flex sort of comes from. Um, so as a as a whole, at the moment, it's not super flexible. And we're going to make it down uh, a certain thickness. This one's going to be our Asbo, which is our all mountain board. Um, so it's sort of like a sort of stiffer to medium range flex. Um, so we're yeah taking it down from about 12 mil to about 7 mil. Um, so obviously it's going to make a big difference in terms of the thickness, and it's also going to get rid of any of these like little bits of glue that are overhanging. So it should be a nice pristine looking board. So uh, the next stage of the, the core is we're going to have to put the holes in it um, and the holes is where the inserts go. Uh, if you don't know what an insert is, it's it's the place where you, you screw your binding into basically. What we do is we've got these templates set up and uh, you'll see the, the router we've sort of adapted and made this um, sort of part of the router and these two screws 
uh, fit in with these holes and again making sure it's always in the right place um, uh, to, uh, to, to pretty high precision and um, yeah let's crack on. <laughs> So now we've got the holes um, sort of finished, uh, we now need to taper it off. Um, so if you've ever already noticed with a snowboard, they always sort of bend up at the end. Um, and the reason we get that bend is because it's always sort of thinner in the core towards the nose and tail, which allows that bend to stay more permanent. And it also adds a bit more flex to those nose and tail areas for your, your presses and your you know, when riding on rails and things like that. But yeah, we're gonna taper this down. Uh, this is the jig, you see it sort of rises towards this end, so it's going to go through the uh, thicknesser, it's not going to cut at all until we get to this sort of tapered bit and it's slowly going to sort of bring it down um, to the desired thickness. So uh, yeah, let's crack it on. Now we've finished the core, um, we'll get on with uh, getting the base sorted. So for this, this is where the main shape of the, uh, the snowboard will come from. Um, while we're waiting for the other graphics that we're making uh, for Fuel Pure, which is their like, own custom design, we're going to get on with the, the two they've ordered of our own design. Um, so uh, yeah, this is what we start out with. Obviously it's been printed, sublimated, and uh, we've uh, back coated the, uh, the back to be white. Uh, now it's all set, we can uh, get on with the shaping of it. So we'll grab a template, and then we just, the first sort of task is to line everything up. And then we're just going to cut that one down. Flip it over, and now we're just going to follow that round uh, with the router. What we're going to be doing here is just sort of going around clamping the edge up um, so it's nice and tight to the, uh, the shape of the board. Uh, and then we're going to go around with a, a super glue. Um, this is not a permanent sort of hole, this is to literally take us from here into the next room where the epoxy will then fill in all the gaps. Next step, uh, we need to waterproof the ends. So like I said earlier about the, uh, the bit we add on extra, this is just gonna sort of fill it in. The reason we do it this shape is because we have a few different shapes of boards. We have the blunt nose shape and the round nose shape. It just basically makes it a lot more effective to have it this wider bit of plastic and just be able to do whatever shape you want towards the end. Fun little fact there, <laughs> you find that fun. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just glue these on. Again, this is just a temporary tack. Uh, the next step is we're going to put the inserts in, so like I said earlier, um, they literally just fit in. Uh, we temporarily tack that in, and then obviously when the, the fiberglass and the epoxy's on, they're fully sealed in. There's no way they're moving at all. Right, so uh, yeah, this is a cassette, or well, we call it a cassette, it doesn't really have a technical name. Two, two pieces of metal that encase the board, um, giving it a nice sort of flat, smooth edge uh, for it to be pressed against as opposed to having um, sort of like this jaggedy sort of shape. Um, this gives it sort of a nice sort of even pressure across the board. So yeah, first step we've got to do, clean all these up, make sure there's no little bobbly bits on it left over from the previous boards. Um, uh, and then we can sort of lay everything up and get ready to, uh, to put it in the press. <laughs> Yeah, so let's get on with uh, cutting this one out. So we're at the bandsaw now, and this is what we're gonna use to cut out um, the boards. And what we do is it's a metal cutting blade, which we need to get through all the epoxy and everything. Um, and, and what we do is we sort of follow the blade, it's gonna come in, um, and we're gonna sort of use that as a template to go around the board, and hopefully we'll get it nice and close. And then after that, we just gotta grind it up, and make sure it's sort of to the right sort of spec and stuff. So uh, yeah, let's get on with it. That's it. 
board's been waxed, um, sort of cleaned up all the sides, they're super smooth now. And we have that sort of two, um, two angle sort of side wall on it, which will protect it from, uh, from sort of chipping on the sides. And uh, yeah, taking the protective film off, so you can sort of see now the actual sort of texture of the board. Um, and the colours have really came out quite good to be fair. So uh, yeah, get the rest done and uh, yeah, go and enjoy some food and beers. Cold yesterday to do this. So we had to, we had to wait. I'll turn the fridge down so it should be...